Southwest Florida Jewish community is gathering in prayer as all of this unfolds in Israel. A rabbi with Chabad Jewish Center in Cape Coral is calling this a time of spiritual warfare. Our Elise Chengary spoke with him about how people here are keeping the faith in this time of uncertainty. Amy, so many people gathering in prayer, and that includes our community right here in Southwest Florida. This morning, we are here in Fort Myers at the Jewish Federation of Lee County as the fighting continues and the death toll rises. Rabbi Lebkowski at the Jewish Center says even though we are tens of thousands of miles away, even people right here in Southwest Florida are feeling the effects. We're not there to fight, but we could be here to fight spiritually, to help them, to help them fight. There's a lot of people that are here that have, that have um, blood relatives that were, that were murdered, um, blood relatives that were, that were uh, captive, uh, taken captive, and, uh, it's, and then we are, we're all brothers and sisters, so we're all, we all feel um, it's our family that's, that, was, that was attacked. It's not just Israelis here in Florida rallying against the war. Palestinians have been protesting, too. They're planning a rally in central Florida on Saturday. Fox 4 also spoke with Rasha Mubarak, the Florida-Palestine Network organizer. We all understand what peace means. If there's no justice, then there's no peace. If there's no freedom, then there's no peace. One of our strongest allies is our Jewish allies that fight alongside us and understand that liberation for the Palestinian people means liberation for all people. We are watching the situation in the Middle East closely, and we've been sharing stories with all of you of Southwest Florida residents who are even there now. Just as yesterday, I was speaking with a pastor at First Naples Church who said 53 of their church members were in Israel, and actually a few of them tried to make their way back yesterday. Others are flying back here to Southwest Florida on Thursday, so a lot of people are praying for their safety. If you'd like to follow more of those stories, you could go to our website, foxfortnow.com. Here in Fort Myers. Elise Chingari, Fox 4.